Hey guys, it's Nicole. I'm glad you could join us today for October's um, edition of the YouTube Layout Hot. This month, our sponsor is Midwest Scrap Scrapbooks, so make sure that you check them out, and I'll have their link down at the bottom of the description box, along with all the other ladies that is in the YouTube Hop for this month. Um, remember, the rules of the Hop is to you have to be subscribed to everyone um, who is who will be presenting a layout today. And um, you must leave a comment on everybody's video. And um, also, make sure that you check out scrapbook.com because they are the ones that will be sponsoring the prize for this month. So here's a layout that I came up with. And um, it's really um, girly and frilly and vintagey, And that's the way that I want it to be. I wanted to keep it kind of simple and clean because um, I really wanted the focus to be on the picture of my granddaughter and I. Um, I don't know who took this picture of my granddaughter and I, but it was at her um, meet and greet. And I really like the picture. Um, as you can see, it's a little dark, but it's a little blurry and dreamy. It has a dreamy feel to it, and it has the little blur and fades in there, so I really like it. I don't know who took it or when it was taken, but I'm glad that I found it. I was, I was downloading videos into uh, my computer from the meet and greet. So the layout itself is backed on a 12 by 12 piece of cardboard. Um, I layered it with some um, Prima, not Prima, DCWD Classic Rustic Paper. And um, I also layered it on top with some Prima paper from the London Collection. I believe that it's called Manor House. The theme this month for the layout was paint. So we had to use paints in our layout. And on top of the um, Prima layout paper, I, did, I used some light mocha from Apple Barrel um, acrylic paint. And I painted it all around, all over the um, paper. And I sprayed it with water to um, um, whitewash it, I guess, a little bit to um, fade it out so that the mocha paint wouldn't be so strong. And then I used the towel and then I wiped it off. So you can see all over the layout that there is some fades of the mocha paint all over the paper there. I also used my Lindy Stamp Gang Spray and I sprayed misted it so that you can see I used um, Treasure Island Aqua and a bit of bubbly. And um, as you can see it's sprayed on here so it's like dripping and running all down the um, layout there. I really like the way that looks. The London paper from, from the Prima um, collection is um, very thick so I had to spray it with water to make it more pliable so that I was able to... Um, so I was able to tear it up and roll it back and um, do whatever I need to do with it. So I put this paper through a lot of work. I distressed the edges of the rustic and the London market with vintage photo from Tim Holtz. I tore it up and rolled it back and stuck some lace in the um, openings to have it peeking out with some eyelash trim um, here and here on the side. And it's some eyelash trim here at the top. Um, I used some light mocha and um, cream ivory seam binding and stuck that in the corner here with the Butter Bee Scrap Butterfly with some pearl blings from, from um, Want to Scrap. I have a heart doily there that I spray misted also with the um, Treasure Island Aqua Lindy Stamp Gang Spray and I stuck a, a metal flower in the back from Butter Bee Scraps. And then I put a resin piece from Melissa Francis and I rubbed it with some gold rub and buff. The picture itself is backed on um, several layers. I have the Prima Ledger paper here and then I layered some vellum behind it and then there's the yellow paper from Daiso and then this green paper there is from um, Color Core, Color Core Cardstock. Um, I don't know who the maker of that is, but I've had that paper for a really long time. And I have a metal key here from um, the Michaels $2 bin. And then this love, wood love, is from Saw Crafters, and I just smeared some gold rub and buff all over that. The flowers are wild curly roses from Wild Orchid Crafts. And then I have a green vintage um, tattered flower here from Spare Parts. And then I have some... Um, brown flowers in the back from Recollections. And then I have some gold leaves popping out from there from Better Bee Scraps as well. And I have a jute ribbon bow here that I got from the um, dollar bin at Target. And then this lace is just some lace that I had in my stash because again I wanted the layout to be really frilly so I had some lace in my stash. 
So I used that here with some eyelash with some eyelet lace trim with some more eyelash trim. Put some jute bows on the corner and then use some more um want to scrap bling. And then I did the same and put some this the lace that I had poking out on the sides, I put on the side of the picture with some um eyelash trim. And um I believe that's it, and that's pretty much everything that I used on this layout. Um, I really like the way that it came out. I wanted to keep the focus on the picture, so I didn't want to do too much to the layout, but still I wanted all of the um, the 3D dimension action going on on the layout. So, you know, everything is layered and popped up. Um, the picture itself is popped up. Um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it good back there, but... I don't buy pop dots. <laughs> I just get pieces of um, cardboard that I have, and I just cut it up and glue it on the back. And, um, you know, depending on how how much I want it to pop up or how little, that's how much cardboard I just cut up and into strips, and I glue them to the back of the picture. And it does a great job. It works just as well as um, pop dots. And saves me a lot of money because I have a lot of um, cardboard around my house laying around. So that's what I use to um, pop up my stuff. Um, I hope you guys really like the layout. Um, I like the way that it came out. Um, I think it looks really pretty and really simple and vintage. And that's the look that I was going for. So thank you guys for stopping by to um, check out my layout. Um, again, make sure that you check out MidwestScrapbook.com. And make sure that you check out all the other ladies in the um, layout hop. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.